The title box user interface consists of two major parts, the main title box window and the preview window. You can resize the preview by right-clicking on it and selecting one of the available presets. You can also configure the preview to stay on top of all dialogs. Take a look at the title box workspace. Use the program drop-down menu to configure the video output settings of the currently selected driver. Open the driver manager. Here you can select the title box program and preview drivers. Every time you change a driver, you should restart title box. The object palette is situated to the left of the work area. It is used for creating the different types of objects available in title box. The title box toolbars are situated above the work area. Create a text, a row and a crow object. Play the text object and press the Play Program button. The text object appears in the preview. Play the other two objects. Use the toggle button to switch between an object's play and stop mode. Select all objects. Press the stop button and notice that they disappear together. Select the text object and set an in and out transition for it. Increase the time for which the object's appearance on the screen will be executed. Play and stop the object to view the result. Select the text object and the raw object and group them. Now you can move both objects together and group the objects. Select all three objects and change their alignment settings by using the corresponding buttons. Select the text object and change its name. Enter a delay and duration for the object's appearance on the screen. You can group the objects also by using the tag spin box. Objects with the same tag number can be used as a group in the title box script tasks. Change the width, height and the XY coordinates of the text object and notice how these values change automatically when you move the object using the cursor. Lock the width and height values of an object via the red buttons. Lock the whole object for editing with the lock button. Make all objects invisible in the work area. Open the objects list and show the objects again. In this dialog you can also group and ungroup objects and play them.
change the background of the object. Move the objects on top of each other. Use the green arrow buttons on the toolbars to change their Z order relative to each other. Select an object and press the scheduler button. In the dialog that appears, you can set a time and date at which an object should appear. The scheduler is described in more details in the dedicated video tutorial. The object task list opens a dialog which displays all tasks within a project, if any. Press the mix draw mode button to enable blending of objects which are on top of each other. Open the embedded object list to view the existing Microsoft OLE objects, if any. Change the color and background of the work area from the respective drop-down lists. Hide and unhide the grid. Enable the snap to grid option if you want all objects to be aligned with the nearest grid point. Use the browser to add a custom background to the work area. Save the project. Use the Merge Projects option and notice that title box opens a project without closing the currently opened one. Load an existing project. Notice that you can create projects with different resolutions and aspect ratios. Since the currently opened project is an HD project, change the aspect ratio accordingly.